Hey pals and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel. I'm Antonov2 and today we're taking my IS-4 for a spin. I have not uploaded a gameplay video of this tank for ages now. The reason for that is because it has been sitting around my garage on the live server all the time but I just didn't play it anymore and after patch 8.6 when the artillery was nerfed to crap and there was a lot less around I decided to give it another go and I must say the impression I got was pretty damn good. I really like this tank now, if you saw my review you know that I really liked it before but now I'm really pleased with the way it performs and I play it a lot more now too. So this was actually the very first game I had in my IS4 for a month definitely so and we get a nice shot for a bad shot, he paid dearly for that scouting turn there and there's the artillery, I was just talking about this tank performing better without artillery. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, yeah, we went one minute into the game and the first enemy the artillery picked on was me. But, you know, that's just the thing about the IS-4. It's got a pretty big artillery profile from the top. It's slow, or kind of relatively slow. It's kind of got weakish armor at sides and rear. I mean, it's not as weak as on the IS-7, but still. So, uh, the IS-4 always had a problem with artillery, and, you know, heavy tanks should, but before patch 8.6 came out, you know, there were such huge clusters of artillery, like, five artilleries per game. Uh, so, this tank just wasn't any fun anymore. But I really, really like it now, and now, I must say, I think it's vastly superior to the IS-7. Maybe in pubs, they're both just as good, but in serious games, the IS-7 doesn't really stand a chance. And for team play and so on, the IS-4 is quite a bit better, I think. I would say as tier 10 heavy tanks go, I'd say the IS-4 would be up 4th place. Like, first of all, I'd say the best one would be tier 10 25 After that, the T-57 heavy. Then I'd say comes the Fighting Vehicle 215B, the British tank, that's amazingly good. I maybe would even rank that above the T-57 Heavy, although no, I think the T-57 Heavy is a bit better. But then I'd say comes the IS-4, so it's a pretty, like, it's upper average, but it's a very nice tank, I really enjoy playing it. And you know, I just gave up at some point and you know, before patch 8.6, because I had games, like I said on the review too, that I had just had games in which my, uh, like, I was just not even a minute into the game, I had barely gotten out of the cap, out of our spawn point, you know, and I was just obliterated by artillery, so that was really getting on my nerves. But now this tank's really enjoyable. So I'm going for the lower glaciers, and yes, we hit, but it's kind of lucky there. But again, after patch 8.6, the shots gravitate a lot more towards the centre of the aiming circle. And that really favours especially the inaccurate guns like the Russian guns. Well, this gun is not all that inaccurate. It's got 0.38 accuracy. It's not great, but it's not really all that bad. So, that 112 got a lot of self taken away by us while he came down here. I don't know why he did that, but... You know, I won't complain, I got some damage in, so. <laughs> and hello, Mr. E50. We miss him. What a shame. But he's on kind of low health. Now we could kill him, but we'd have to get shot at him first. See if we can get the bat shot. And yes, we finished him off. That was again very, very lucky there. First kill. Ah, uh, oh, the IS-7 finished. Oh, and here's the bat shot. Oh, he's being sneaky. He won't be sneaky for much longer now. <laughs> okay. Second kill. So now, while this IS-7 is engaging the E-75 frontally, I'm going to try to come around the sides. Okay, he tracks me, so I can't outflank him, so I'll have to try to go over slow glaciers. But because I was in higher ground, meant that it would increase his angle on the lower glaciers, so I couldn't penetrate him. The lower glaciers on the IS, uh, on the E75, I mean, can be pretty troll, actually. So he gets a shot onto our side. Well, the IS-4 is not really a fast-medium tank, which you can pull off these manoeuvres very well. 
So, I'm kind of in a tricky situation here. I have to really hope that he doesn't penetrate me, otherwise I'm dead. So, I'm kind of trying to angle my armor here. And oh, I'm really lucky he doesn't penetrate me and we get an above of average damage roll on the E75. So, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to reload quicker and be able to finish him off. But, somebody else kills him uh, the bat shot. So now there's only the Yak Panzer E100 and the 212A left. Oh, I really hope I can get the artillery. But probably the AMX 12T or the Bat Shot will be there in front of me, air uh, before me. But, oh, I love killing artillery. Come on, please. Please, please, please. Keep my fingers crossed. Have to be careful that I'm not absolutely destroyed by that Yak Panzer E100 when I come around the corner. Yes, very inspiring music, just right for articles. Oh god, there he is. Whoa, I have to get into cover. Ah, I want to live. Okay, good, he's taking out. I think we got some spotting damage in there. Hopefully we did. We'll have to see him after the game starts. So only the artillery left. Oh, come on. I deserve this. Oh, hello. And the IS-7 doesn't see him! Okay, okay, okay. I'm coming. Just one second. Oh, please. Come on. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, yes. That's a very clever location, Vervo. He didn't get spotted till half of our team were past him. Okay, well, I never play artillery, but if I would, that's probably where I'd go. Good idea, Mr. 212, eh? But that was a pretty risky situation there because if he had got a shot off before we did, he wouldn't have had to even directly hit us. He could have just like hit us indirectly just beside us or something like that and we would have been absolutely dead. So, that sees him after the game starts. We got 102,347 credits, which is a lot, and also 1,579 experience. That's a hell of a lot of credit, especially considering that this was no special, this is not a premium vehicle, this is just a standard battle, and we didn't get any extras. We got premium account bonus, but except for that, nothing, so that's a lot. And we also got a sniper medal, which is always nice. Uh, we only killed three enemies, but we damaged a lot of enemies, critted a lot, and enabled spotting damage to the Jagdpan- no, we didn't- we didn't enable spotting damage to the Jagdpans at E100, which is a shame. I had hoped we would have, but we didn't. But we enabled spotting damage to the T-54, the 112, uh, uh 121, and the Batshot. We best of the entire team, dealing out 5.5k damage, getting 3 kills, and getting 1000 experience without any modifications. We fired 16 shots, of which 15 hit and 12 penetrated, which is pretty nice. We got, uh, we dealt out five, uh, just, uh, we dealt out 5,524 damage, received seven hits of which only five penetrated, one did splash damage, Ugh. let's see, ah, that was the artillery hit right at the beginning, and then two didn't penetrate. We received 3,300 potential damage, which is quite a lot, and damaged seven enemies, destroyed three, and 500 damage was done upon our spotting, and we traveled 1.47 clicks. We had to spend nearly half of our money on repair and ammo costs, but, you know, we still walked out of that game with 65,000 credits. So I hope you enjoyed this game, and especially the article at the end. <laughs> and thanks for watching a lot. I hope I'll see you in one of my next videos, and bye-bye.